spectacles, testicles, wall, and watch. I'm back in the south. Oh my gosh. Hey man, can I get some of this? Yeah, grab it. All right. Yeah. This is so, man, this is gonna be so good. Help yourself. All right. Man, I don't come to the beach often, but when I do, I drink out of my stein. Jeff uh, Voxworthy, what's your last name again? Springer. Springer? <laughs> <laughs> you can't make that up. I'm on fire! I'm on fire! Help me, Allah! Help me, Jesus! Help me, Jewish God! I'm on fire! We want to buy you a drink because it's you... my f***ing island, I'm buying a drink. Whoa! All right, guys, I'd like to thank uh, my buddy Jeff Springer from Hero Hunt for coming down and... Uh, fishing with us and having a good time we're just going to kind of try a new format here and just do little interviews and kind of see where this takes us hopefully it can uh not only help us but help others yeah what does this this whole trip meant to you oh man it's it's meant so much more than the ordinary person can really understand because you can sit there and you can say oh i'm gonna go on vacation for a few days and you know you you can have fun okay yeah it's a little bit of a relax but for me it's it's way more it's the you know starting to break away from because I, I was i knew i was starting to get into a nice little depression swing my my anger was starting to to pick up my i mean my uh, motivation to even want to do anything it <laughs> it was going down the toilet quick and this it, it just it was one of those where i was like it was the light at the end of the tunnel the the breakaway to be able to because i knew i was going with other vets and having them out there being able to you know converse in basically the same language that that we normally would you know the same personality just that camaraderie just helped pull me out so like i said it just it means more to me than it does a normal person that would be going on vacation. Why are those things important to you? I mean, it's a support system. If, if you don't have it, then you're, you're not going to get a lot of help. Yeah, you have your, your family and your friends and stuff like that, but when they start to not understand what's going on, you need somebody else that's going to help or at least understand what's going on. And honestly, it seems like veterans are the only, you know, type of people that understand what's going on because they've been through the same thing. You know, they, they've been through, they've been dealing with the VA. They've been dealing with, you know, life stressors at, at the house. They've been dealing with their PTSD, their depression, TBIs, their physical limitations. And, you know, it, it means a lot to, to just be able to, you know, have that extra support. So, can you be a little more specific as to certain instances on this trip that that's happened? You know, you don't have to use names or anything, but right, right. So, I mean, uh, yesterday, uh, yeah, we were, it was Veterans Day and all that, and man, it was great. But you get down to it, and you you get the backstory, you know, of other guys, and it, it makes you feel a little bit better knowing that you're not the only one battling all that stuff. You're not and, alone. Yeah. Yeah. And once you realize that, you, you kind of open up a little bit more, being able to, to let somebody in instead of continuously have that blocker up. Because once you get that blocker up, it's, it's really hard to break it down. Well, we're trained for decades, most of us on this trip, that soldier on the bigger, not yourself. Yeah. Well, when uh, you don't have any support system or other veterans that help you out, when you're broken, 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 you look inside and you can't fix it and then you beat yourself up for not being able to fix it right and it's like this or at least for me it's like this big cycle and uh it's good for me to hear that you're um you're able to to recognize that um and why do you think this this type of uh experience would be good for for other veterans it's a networking thing it's it's a supporter network and, and it's not just you know coming out here you know having fun doing going fishing it's it's about that camaraderie being able to you know connect with people like-minded individuals that understand what's going on and you never know who you're going to run into because that one person may say something that you could completely understand but nobody else in the world would be able to say it that same way and it's just going to click with you at that point you know so it i mean 
it, it's going to help a lot of people. It really is. And I wholeheartedly believe that. Well, I believe it too. I mean, this is something that it's my purpose, cause, and passion to help out veterans and inner city youth. And, you know, hopefully in the future, you know, this PTSD thing that, that veterans have, this PTSD thing that veterans have, this issues that we've been dealing with that's been more prominent in the last, you know, since Vietnam when they started to figure out what it really was. It, it's interesting that a lot of inner city youth have similar experiences with gun violence and, you know, domestic violence and different things like that. So I hope to bring kids and veterans together and hopefully, you know, heal. And, uh, you know, we'll see where it all goes. But at the end of the day, um, why do you think, you know, this was important for you? Tell me, tell me about your experience with the community here. Oh, man, the community was amazing. Uh, I've never seen a community so receptive. I'm from Hopkinsville area, so, you know, it's, it's a military community to begin with, but it's really close to the military base, so I think they're more or less just kind of uh, numb to the fact. But out here, they welcomed you with open arms. They didn't, you know, they didn't care. They, hey, you know, this guy's bad. Let's help him out. And it, it wasn't, you know, the fact that they would sit there and, you know, hey, here's a free meal. Okay, that's great, you know, but I mean, they, they actually were, you know, the, the, to the point where you're gonna have friends for a lifetime, almost. Like, uh, we had one bartender, Mikey, he came over, you know, we talked to him at the bar and everything like that while he was serving us drinks. You know, we saw him uh, the other night, man, he, I mean, we just welcomed him back. He, he enjoyed the company. And, you know, it, it's just one of those where I, I've never seen that anywhere else. So Yeah, this place is definitely very, very pro-veteran. What do you think about the veterans? Uh, what do you think about the veteran celebration they had at the, the county school today? Oh, man, that was that was great. It, it hit me right in the feels. Yeah, I mean, I, mean, it, it, I teared up a few times, I ain't going to lie. Yeah. And, uh, man, the kids are singing. I mean, it, it is the whole county is involved in this thing, and it, it's special. And uh, this area, people are very selfless. I made calls. I, you know, Hero Hunt said, hey, we're going to send some guys down here. I, I, I made it. You know, I put a Facebook post out, made a couple calls, and everybody was like, I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you. It was so, I had to turn people away because we had so many places reach out to us that wanted to provide meals for you guys. And uh, this year it was just a team event, you know, four of us. Uh, next year, hopefully it'll be a squad, if not more. And uh, I'm not gonna rest until we got a platoon or two down here. And uh, we're gonna keep on rolling and making it happen. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Yeah. I'm glad I could share that with you. Hope to do it with a lot of more guys, especially from Hero Hunt. Yeah, you want to do it you guys. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> Should I? We gotta buy you a drink. No, 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 wait a second. I came in here. I asked about all the veterans. We're right here. Hands. I'm buying you a drink. But well, we want to buy you a drink. Butterman, we want to buy you a drink because it's you. My island, I'm buying a drink. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> That's how we roll on St. George I Island. I, I might roll different, but here, look. I don't care who you are, if you're a veteran, you get a crazy. I'll meet you there. I'm on fire! I'm on fire! Help me, all the Help me, Jesus! Help me, Jewish God! I'm on fire! I'm on fire! Help me! Help me, Tom Cruise! Help me, Oprah Winfrey! Help me! Help me! Help me out! I'm on fire! be on some sort of drugs. What is the PCP meth? I think so. That crocodile. That crocodile, man. Help me, President Trump! Help me! Oh, help me, Jim Pierce! Help me, Iraqi man! Help me, 22 points, sir! I'm on fire! I'm on fire, no kidding! We're gonna have to do a second take. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> now I feel creepy. Boy, you are the old guy. Yeah. Go <laughs> so, yeah, side for me.
go to the other side. He didn't say go to the other side of you. Seems like a last puppy that got lost on the boat. Okay, I think we caught everything there is out in the Gulf of Mexico spinner this fish. time of year. Spinnerfish. What was that little one that looked like a parrotfish? Oh, triggerfish. There we go. <laughs> Spinnerfish. He's been watching too many <laughs> of those movies that start with P. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's besides the point. Right. This video is this man's first shark. He told me I want to catch a shark. We put him on the shark. What was it like? Oh man, it it hit and it started running, and then I had to fight that thing coming back up. And as soon as I started getting it to to reel back in, that shark was coming up, and it started tiring out at the bottom. Just let it kind of swim around and watch it. It was yeah. pretty awesome. Yeah, he's used to getting tired out on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> tired out, worn out, same thing. I mean, we'd really like to thank our sponsors, Resort Vacation Properties of St. George Island, Journeys of St. George Island. I mean, we had so many restaurants that gave us meals. We had Tamaris uh, Tapas Bar. We had Harrier's. We had Patty's Raw Bar. What else did we guys did we have? We had uh, Docks. Docks. Dockside Marine and in, in Appalachia. Apalachicola Coffee Company. Yes, that was amazing. That's they gave us breakfast, which was amazing, and they also gave us lunches uh, for on the boat. Uh, we went to Doc Myers. They gave us some free drinks. Mikey, man, our boy Mikey. Oh, Shout man. out to Mikey. Mikey. If you go to Doc Myers on St. George Island, hope that Mikey is going to be your bartender. You'll have a great day. Please, if you believe that living a wonderful life isn't just something you do for fun, that you think believe that it's part of being a human in our DNA, please like, subscribe, and share this channel so we can inspire just that.